sometimes I just love to sit down, have a cup of tea and a Jaffa cake. But it's been a really tough day, so I think something slightly bigger might just hit the spot. So I've made quite a few different giant versions of things, but this genuinely is super simple. So I'm going to put the recipe below and if you do make it, please tag me in it. I would love to see your creations. I am going to attempt to make a giant Jaffa cake. First of all, the jelly part. We need two blocks of jelly. They're 135 grams each, but don't follow the instructions. So with each packet, you need 250 mils of boiling water. So two packets of jelly and now 500 milliliters of boiling water. I have lined a Pyrex dish, but you can use a cake tin or something that is smaller than the actual tin that you're gonna bake your sponge in. Line it with a cling film and pour in your dissolved jelly. Leave this to cool to room temperature. And once it is cooled, put it into the fridge overnight and then we'll come back to it. I'm now gonna be making the sponge biscuit. There's a lot of debate about this, but we're gonna start off with some eggs and some sugar. Now with an electric whisk, whisk the eggs and sugar till it's light, fluffy and pale. Add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and then just keep whisking for about another three minutes or so and it will get very fluffy and pale. Now sieve in half of your self-raising flour and fold in with a spatula and then repeat till it's all combined. lined and greased a large tin, larger than the mould of jelly that you've made. And now I'm just going to pour this straight in. Now pop this into the oven for about 20 minutes till it's golden in colour. I let this fully cool in the oven, so it is now cool to touch and it is ready to take out. With a sharp knife, I just rubbing my edge.
the jelly has sat overnight in the fridge and we're ready to put it in the middle of this sponge. Be really careful because it's fragile. Sponge cake is fragile as well. So make sure it comes away from whatever dish you have. Not quite sure how I am going to do this. Right. I think I might just plum put it on ready. Steady. Go. Okay, slightly off center. I have melted some dark chocolate here. I've used the microwave and in bursts of 30 seconds, I just kept stirring in between till it was melted and this lovely thick consistency. If you don't have a microwave, put it on top of a pot of boiling water. Make sure the water doesn't hit the bottom of the bowl, otherwise it will scald it and it will melt just the same. On to final stage. Then for the signature kind of crossed grid mark, I am going to use a skewer and I'm going to mark the chocolate. Shall we cut this? Yes. Yeah, I'm going to help you cut it. You're going to help me? You need to. Wait. One at a time. One at a time. Go, oh, Danny, do this way. Oh, so slimy. <laughs> slimy. Yummy. Yeah,